Welcome to Dutch Nickel. <laughs> um, I've unlocked some of the towers now. Yeah. So now we have like a bit more of the map. She's a good noodle. I am a good noodle. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. You're welcome. Hi. Don't let it go to your head, though. Uh-oh. All right? It's too late. All right. It's in my head. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, let's get over here. Pew. I have a story for you. I have some information. Okay. Breaking news. Breaking news. Um, so binging with Babish. I'm gonna do this assault. Go on. Is is named after Oliver Babish. Does that ring a bell? Um, of the fighting Babishes? No. Um, Oliver Babish is a character from the West Wing. This is from his <gasps> website, by the way. Yes. Portrayed by the uh, irrepressible Oliver Platt. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, keep reading it for the people who oh, don't watch oh, The West oh, Wing. Oh, God. All right. Sorry. Um, that acted as legal counsel for the Bartlett administration. Yeah. I named my Reddit handle after him. I started making a show for Reddit. It found an audience outside of Reddit, and the rest is history. Trust is something earned, not given. Yeah. That, okay. Now it makes sense. Are you happy? Are you, do you forgive him? I forgive him, yes. Okay. I j it's mostly you laughing at me for not understanding that. Not only that, yes, I may have watched The West Wing like four to five hundred times. But my thing is, that's not the first thing that comes to mind, is a reference a character made in the show. Hmm. <laughs> but he's in the bathtub. <laughs> Romeo's looking at ghosts. And there's flowers in the attic. I finished that book. How'd it go? It's a lot. That's, that was book it a good is, book? It was a really good book. Hmm. It took me a really long time to find a copy <laughs> of that book. Um, and then we were at Barnes Noble one day, and I was like, oh, fuck. I've got to buy this. And, um, yeah, so V.C. Andrews knocking out the good goods, or the really bads. Now I'm going to read... I think I'm going to read the lore book, mm -hmm. the first one, because I haven't read it yet, and... I have a real problem of buying books and then having too many books to read. <laughs> it's weird that you and I don't read the same books. What do you mean? Like, we've suggested books for each other. Like, you gave me The Darker Shade of Magic. Uh-huh. Oh, do you want me to audiobook that? No. Oh. Really? You don't think I'll like it? No. I Like, here's the thing. It was an alright book. It wasn't great. It oh, wasn't... it wasn't like... Hmm. Um, why'd you point over there? Is it over there? Yeah, it's somewhere in there. Oh. Oh, okay. Cool. Um... Well, 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 this cocksucker. Um, wow. He's a cocksucker. Wow, so am I. <laughs> nah, um, well, I mean, you're going to read Scythe, or you're listening to Scythe. I want to read it, yeah. I'm really excited. I'm so, like, I just want to talk to you about it, and I really think it's right up your alley. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's what we should do. Right up your alley? Are you? A podcast? Please. Please. Anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the hope in your eyes was fleeting. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> you should. Are you set on reading lore next? Re no, I haven't started it, so I'm never set on anything until I've started it. Why? Until it's in stone. Yeah. Um, what if you read stuff. that magic book, The Name of the Wind? Yeah. And I'll read Scythe, half. and then you and I can swap stories. As long as you get me an audio book of that. Because okay. the, all the ones I found only do half of the book. Oh, that's silly. Yeah, no, uh -huh. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, you do that. I'll do that. You read Scythe, because I'm almost done with My Favorite <coughs> Murderer. Which has uh, 138 episodes, so, uh, so 170, 274 murders I've listened to. Mm. No, 276 murders. How do you feel? Or I will have when I'm done. I'm, um, I feel pretty good. I've gotten some really good stories. I have a lot of murder anecdotes. But like they talk about in the show, so few people truly understand that shit. That, like, kind of like when I started listening to it, I asked everyone, hey, do you like true crime? And only like two people were like, I mean, I have a passing interest. Mm -hmm. No one was like, oh my god, yes, who's your favorite murderer? <laughs> like, I just don't have Who that group of murderer? friends. Please don't let it be the man slave on that island. No, absolutely not. Um, good story, not a good murderer. Yeah, look look up the um, the family living on the Galapagos Islands and the Baroness. Pretty good. I think it's episode 132, maybe? Who knows? Of My Favorite Murder. Um, I mean, they tell the story fantastically, but... Your dogs are in formation. 
<laughs> not <laughs> like Beyonce. For me. Um, okay, so Spider Man now essentially has uh, no job because that's what we missed out on. Wee! Um, I, you know, I'm not totally sure who my favorite murderer is. Really? Do you have a top, like, three? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, the Zodiac Killer, for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I really like that one. I, I have grown... You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say the Golden State Killer. Do I have to do this right now? Yeah. Damn. Um, for your friend Harry. My friend Harry. Don't touch my alligator knees and my unshaved legs. Um, well, <laughs> you heard it here first, I guess. I'm a supervillain. Um, <laughs> yeah, Harry is weirdly missing from this game. And you never find out in your story? You find out? Okay, cool. Um, I'm glad. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Um, uh, yeah, so Golden State Killer is my top. And for those of you who haven't yet, research station is great. Um, for those of you who don't know about it, um, Michelle McNamara, who is um, Pat Oswalt's late wife, she she dedicated her life to researching the like to writing a book that archives. The first part is um, archives what. Well, the first part oh. that she archives is the people who were murdered, that they know of, mm-hmm. of course. Um, so she talks about, in like a, a fairly natural, whoops, too low, uh, damn it, god damn it, go, yes, um, she talks in a very healthy way about here's what happened to them, here's a thing, and she kind of sets up the basic pattern that the police had, which is not much, about um, how his attacks went down. And so you kind of get a, like, oh, this is how this happens, and she does it, unlike what most people have done, in a true chronological order. Hmm. So you can say, oh, I can see his progression. I can see his mental progression from breaking and entering to rape to murder and like you get a general idea of why and all the times that he's almost been caught creepy which are a lot he's it's very very disturbing and it was only this year that they caught the guy and um it's huh good job doing that thing yeah Uh, i'm really again i'm very good at his his web travel um his webbies his webos He's got some good whippers. There we go. Ta-da. Oh, this is when I get to take the pictures of the cars. Yes. Okay. This is my favorite part. So you have to take a picture of the cars so that they know like what make and model. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh, he actually stayed. Huh? Well, you died. I almost got it. No. Nope. Whoop. What are you? I'm trying to get over to it. So I can do this. There we go. Everyone knows what model that car is, right? Yeah, clearly it's a Ford Taurus. The Ford Clitoris. Yeah. Um, I had I had an ex boyfriend who called his car that. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Things went great. There you go. <laughs> I love taking pictures of moving objects in this game. I love taking pictures in this game. What else? What else am I missing? Another car. Another car. No, take, turn your camera off. Oh, it's up there. Um, <coughs> there we go. Oh. Uh, but yeah, uh, so Zodiac Killer, Golden State Killer, and... I mean, my brain goes to Manson because that was the first one I was really exposed to. Mm. And reading Bugliosi's... Um, <laughs> They'll know exactly which one it is. All the toxins. <laughs> I just took a picture of the toxins. I'm like, <coughs> um, cool, did it. Good job. Oh my god, thank you. Um, so when I was in, I believe, seventh grade, I got the book Helter Skelter, which is written by Vincent Bugliosi, who is the leading attorney on the Manson case. What a great name. Yeah. And it's a, it's a name that I really, uh, that really sticks with me. 
Like how uh hmm. how do you spell that? Uh Vincent V I N I know Vincent, no, I don't care about that part. B U G L I L I O S I, I believe. I think it's just Bugliosi. But I of course will spell check that before I post it. Um Great. I put a heart over his eye. Yeah, of course, because he's fucking dreamy. But not as dreamy as Paul Holes. I am oh, hot for holes. no. I am way hot for holes. Um, Who started hot for holes if it's not your girls? I don't. Just some... It was your girls. Some murder it? fan. Um, so the lead detective for the majority of the Golden State Killers, um, Rain, was a man whose name is Paul Holes. And oh, this is, this Pulsifer. is a, a battle. Pulsifer. Um, and if you look him up, he, the day after he retired, or the day he retired was the day that they pinned who the Golden State Killer was. And they did an interview with him on um, My Favorite Murder. Oh, look at that. Fuck you up! Um, they did an interview with him where they said, you know, it's almost storybook, like the last day of the ca of your career, and they, it's your career making case. Yeah. Um, and he's smoking hot, like he's so hot. Um, you gonna find a picture of Paul Holes? I am, you know. Yeah, can you put that in and put like a heart around him or something, like, cause he's and can you put hashtag hot for holes? Sure. Um, but he talked about how they had uh, ID the guy. They pretty much pegged him. And then... Whee! And, uh... I can't... Uh, this is... Sorry, um... Sorry. They... I just keep losing my train of thought here. I get on those Americone flags. Americone dream. Yeah, you can't get me up here, I thought. He's alright. Huh? <coughs> I think he's a smoking babo. Like, mm, mm, mm. I am part of the Hot for Holes fan club here. I God, isn't. I am fucking failing at this. Because I want to continue to tell this story, but I just cannot do that. Ooh. Priorities, Allison. Oh, oh, look, get behind the pillar. The what left the pillar? There you go. This, and then, er, yeah! There we go. Pound it, pound it, pound it. Knuckles. Wee. Now that I know I can just fucking fly around and miss his shit, miss me with that shock shit. <laughs> uh. Boop. Pull it up, pound it down. Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is a weird question, but in uh, yeah. in middle school, did you ever kick a boy in a shin? Mm, no, I can't say that I have. Why? That's all girls did to me in fucking middle school. Why? It was like a big thing. My shins are like steel. Now. <laughs> You've been conditioned to fight against them. And like, don't get me wrong, I wasn't some jackass that was like being a weirdo to girls. Like, they just would come up, kick me hard in the shin. And like, <laughs> bye. Like, no, I was known. Why? I was known as kissy girl because I tried to kiss boys. Try, but here's the thing, I do it on the cheek. Like, I know little girls who are like full on on the mouth. I'm like, no, 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 yuck, ew. No, I just have always liked the boys. Debussy. <laughs> Debussy. Um. Ooh, 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 no. Do you think you can finish this fight on the next episode? Um. Yeah, you know it. Or it's not gonna uh... be this one.